Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to yet another video talking about FNAF Security Breach. So we finally entered the year 2021, the year which Security Breach is supposed to be coming out. And usually I would be just like, oh, since we're getting closer to the release date, more people have been talking about it. When, when in reality, it's just, yeah, people are still trying to come up with a supposed release date for this game when in actuality, the only release date we have is early 2021. I get people are excited for this, but god dang, they are trying to read into every single thing and find meaning in anything anyone says, and they just drive themselves crazy. You know, I had a friend do it once, he taught he went crazy, he went to, he talked about it for years. So I just want to go over some information about Security Breach that has surfaced over the last few days, where people are reading too far into them, in my personal opinion, especially one of the, um, sources found on a German website where some mistranslation was, you know, it, it occurred, and so, yeah, I want to clear that up. So, let's not waste any more time, but before we hop into it, boys, if you're new here, like, subscribe, do all that cool stuff, and I just launched my merch store. Quite a few people have been asking for some Johnny Blocks merchandise, so I thought, you know what? Let's just make some, let's see how it sells, and if people enjoy it, we'll do more in the future. We got some mugs, some stickers, some apparel, t-shirts, sweatshirts, tank tops, all that good stuff. There's even a pillow. There's a lot of great designs on there, personally. And if people enjoy it, we can make some more. I really, really tried to make the prices as low as I can, while of course still making them high enough so not only can they be made and shipped, but also I can make at least some profit off of it, because in the future, that's gonna, you know, that, that's gonna have to happen. Personally, I don't think they're too high. They should be shipping out sometime mid to late January. So, now that you've checked out the merch, you've liked, you've subscribed, let's talk about FNAF Security Breach. So the first thing I want to talk about is this tweet that was released. Uh, I actually have no clue because I couldn't find the original tweet. So I found it on the Reddit. It says, there was a tweet going around saying that Security Breach will release on January 12th. It's not very well known, but just to prevent any hope lost, this is a scam. It's a receipt for the core collection. And you can see the tweet says, hashtag FNAF security breach was legit because I spent $5 down for pre-order and it says the 12th of this month. I hope to God it's legit. And it's kind of legit. It's not about security breach. It is legit though for the full, for the core collection. The full collection. Yeah, yeah, that sounds right. So you can see on the receipt it says Five Nights at Freddy's CC, which if you don't know stands for core collection. I'll be honest, I don't really know what SD stands for. I might be dumb right now. Um, but also another way to tell that it is not for security breach is because it says PlayStation 4. And while yes, it will be released on PS4, it's actually going to go on the PlayStation 5. That's kind of why it was in the PS5 showcase video. So yeah, that's another reason why. Why this isn't about security breach. Well, I'm sure we may get some like Steam pages and all that stuff hopefully in the next couple of months. I definitely do not think that this is about security breach because it's just not. And since we're on the topic of release dates, I know that's something a lot of people are talking about, so I want to give my opinion on it now that we are officially in 2021 and it should be releasing early this year as quoted by Scott. So if you forgot a little bit ago, about a month or two ago, Scott made a uh, Reddit post saying security breach release date. And at the bottom, he says, as it stands now, 2021, it will be worth the wait. Early 2021, not late 2021. So in my eyes, and it may change from person to person, early 2021 is like the first quarter and a half. The first quarter to like the second quarter. Definitely not quarter three to quarter four. So it should definitely be out before July, 100%. In my opinion, I definitely don't think it'll be released in the first like few to couple of months uh, of early 2021 just because if they made this post about, again, a month or two ago, saying that they were delaying it because the game is three times as big as they thought it was going to be, I definitely don't think it's going to be ready soon, right? This whole post was Scott saying that the game has gotten way bigger than they thought and they need a lot more time. So much time, in fact, that they had to push it back to a different year. I definitely don't think it's going to be out uh, January, February, March is a possibility, but I definitely do think it's going to be more like April or May. Maybe even April, I'd say that is like my go-to month, but again, we're just going to have to wait and find out. That's not confirmed. So talking about this German website, it's called Gaming Grounds, and a few people have found out that in this article, it talks about FNAF Security Breach. So this is the exact quote from the German website. Of course, I don't speak German. And when you change the language on the site itself using Google Translate and all that stuff, 
it converts it obviously from German to English. And it says if you like it a little creepier, you may find a real highlight in FNAF Security Breach. Anyone who has already gained experience with the franchise will be able to imagine something under the new title from developer Steel Wolf Studios. Tension, horror, and in the end, even jump scare elements will combine as you explore a pizza restaurant filled with toys, vehicles, and of course, terrifying creatures. Thanks to the use of ray tracing, the next part looks even more beautiful, at least in the passages between the moments when the game makes you jump up in the chair or from the sofa. FNAF Security Breach is due to appear early 2021, so it's a little bit hard for me to read into this site just because it's German and I personally do not speak German. If there's any German viewers, if you can verify whether or not the site is legit, I'd love to know. Even if it's not legit, I mean, we still kind of know everything here. It's going to be terrifying, there's definitely ray tracing, we know that is confirmed. Obviously, the release date, yada yada, we got that. Toys, terrifying creatures, you know, it's FNAF. It's gonna have terrifying creatures. It's gonna have um, toys around. Like, we know there's a gift shop in the game from the trailer. Now, something that people have been, like, spreading everywhere is the vehicles, right? Vehicles. Do we get to like drive around the, the forklifts? Do we get to drive around the golf course and the golf carts? Which, I mean, no, maybe, right? It's a maybe, but it's definitely not confirmed. Especially since when you go over to the official PlayStation blog, which I guess that does mean this is legit, so that's nice to know. The translation is a bit better, which by the way, I'm looking right now and it seems that they have the exact same uh, games on here, so I'm guessing it's just a direct copy from German over to English on the official PlayStation blog. Yeah, on the PlayStation blog, it says, instead of saying toys, vehicles, and terrifying creatures, it says toys, rides, and terrifying animatronic creatures. So, we already know there's going to be rides in the game. We've seen that from the trailer, all the like moving parts around the, um, the, the mall. Plus, it's a giant mall. It's three stories tall. Now, I'm telling you right now, a three-story mall that's not just gonna have stores in it. Some of the biggest malls in the United States have like full-blown water parks in them, so it wouldn't surprise me if there's some like rides around the place. Whether that's like roller coasters or just some simple like, you know, go around the caterpillar for the little kitties, I don't know. So sure, it could be vehicles, you know, something I would love to see in the game is seeing it operate during the daytime, seeing people run around, seeing walkers in the back driving the forklifts, you know, bringing in the new animatronics, that would be very cool to see, seeing them distribute them to um, um, the special delivery service, that would be cool. So we could drive around the vehicles or it could just be little attractions around the place. So I see a lot of people talking about, oh, we're gonna drive the forklifts, oh, we're gonna drive a golf cart. Maybe, okay, maybe. But since this is now on the PlayStation blog, I feel a lot more safe to say that this is a legit source. So again, really not anything new. It does say explore around a pizza restaurant, which that combined with the stealth, uh, stealth element of the game. I definitely do think it's gonna be free roam, which is fantastic to hear. We've been waiting so long for that to, you know, to actually be in a FNAF game, so I'm very excited. That's really it. Um, if there's any more news on FNAF Security Beach you guys want me to talk about, I'd love to. It's a great way to, um, to kick off the new year, talking about the biggest game coming to the franchise in years. Plus, we're getting closer and closer every day, so let's look out for more news from Steel Wall because they did say that more was coming, and we were kinda hoping for something before the new year, but we didn't really get anything. We're also very much overdue for a brand new ScottGames.com teaser, right? We've had Vanny since um, August 7th, I believe, it was one day before the anniversary, so Scott, we're waiting. So yeah, more news coming hopefully soon. So, that's gonna do it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye. Gregory, be still. I think she's found us. <laughs>